What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another one of these WWE 2K Create a Wrestler videos. This one is a bit of an interesting one. We have a female. This is the first female Create a Wrestler video I've uploaded. But this isn't just any female. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory behind this character. This is a character. Her name is Rebecca Quinn. Um name was actually kind of based off of Becky Lynch's real life name as well as a few other aspects of different characters and stuff like that but a few years ago my friend and I we decided to incorporate an entire women's roster so we needed our own female characters this was my female character that I came up with years ago I did this on 2k18 2k19 and 2k20 um, she's kind of been the female counterpart to my male main my main male character so I'm going to show you guys how to create the female character that I have been using for the last few years. And we'll kind of go from there. So this here is Rebecca Quinn's Duda E 2K Create Wrestler video on Duda E 2K20. So let's start off with the face. Um, let me zoom in. So it's actually pretty much almost a basic face. Um, not really much change to it. Um, leave I go here. So teeth are normal. Template. We just use the baseline plate. Um, nothing fancy there. As you can see, like whenever you go into the templates, it kind of like changes things. Or well, when you take it off, nothing really changes. Um, facial structure. All this is just your baseline stuff. So we'll just kind of go through this real quick. Um, you guys will see what I mean. Like pause whenever you need. I'm, I'm just going to kind of, like I say guys, it's pretty much a baseline character face. Um, we didn't really spend too much time doing all that. Now, of course, some of the biggest things are the other parts of her appearance. I'm making this video like 7 o'clock in the morning, so it's early as hell. Um, now, body-wise, height and weight, we put her at 169 pounds. Nice. And only at five foot seven, so she's kind of like average, a little higher than your average height. Body customization: we went the more of a um, muscular build on one, and then more of a slender build on the other, and gave her kind of like a mix between the both. Um, and of course, now let's go into the biggest part. Now here you're gonna see three, technically three attires. This one here, all it works is attire slot two. That's actually two different attires. Uh, what I did is I kind of created it this way. Makes it easier to just do this video for this one. I'm going to show you her baseline attire though, which is the attire slot one. And then these are just some of her additional attires. So we'll start off with her ring attire. Um, appearance wise. So let's start off with that hair wise. So this is Rebecca Quinn. Um, really beautiful eyes if you ask me. Um, this color is very unique. It took me a little bit to get this color correct. But it's more of like an emerald-like green, almost. Um, I, zoom it in again. So yeah, like, like emerald-looking green. Took me a little bit to get that right shade that I wanted. She, of course, does have lipstick on, as well as um, kind of like special eyelashes on there as well. And of course, her hair is kind of like the, um, I don't know how to describe it. But it has one ear exposed, has the other ear covered, and then we just turn it straight black. Um, now with female hair, you do have an option to add a um, moisture level to it, or a shine to it. So I did actually do that for hers. Hers is actually just straight, like, dark black. There isn't really a shininess to it. No tattoos or anything like that, but her, she does have a uh, six-pack or eight-pack. She can give her a full chisel physique type of thing. Of course, she does have, you know, some curves, um, especially with these pants. It definitely, you know, gives off those cur the curve effect. Now, as far as her attire, nothing on the head. The top's pretty simple. It's just a bra. So what we did is we found this bra. It's a two-tone, um, and we just turned it to a black bra. Um, and then, of course, she has her martial arts gloves, kind of like my male main character does as well. She has those martial arts-looking gloves. Um, and then I did give her a belly piercing, um, so, you can see there, 
what it is is just a black belly piercing. Lower body, we found some uh, tactical looking pants. I found this one that has like a little extra stuff on it, so I came up with those. And then with the tactical looking boots. So again, it kind of like is a, a shield inspired outfit to go on with um, her other parts, like her other character wise. Entrance wise, the biggest difference is the jacket here, obviously. So what we did is we went with um, just kind of like a uh, long sleeve shirt jacket with the um, sleeves kind of expanding. It works really well for a character and everything. Again, the gloves are on and the belly rings on. Now, as for her secondary attire, or technically second and third, this one is a preset attire um, based off of Becky Lynch's attire, and I literally just copied it over. We did change her hair up a bit for this, um, so of course, we did change up her lipstick, so now she actually has like some color to her lipstick. And her hair is actually this um, pulled back into a bun, and then we have the... Um, Fuck, what are those? Rubber bands or hair bands or whatever they're called all over them. There's a little bit of a shine to this, so I did like a 15% shine to this one. Kind of uh, changes up the facial aspect to kind of make it a little seem a little different. Um, and literally the attire is just basically Becky Lynch's attire, as you can see. Um, so this is actually found in the upper body, tops, stuff like that. Um... And then the lower body, we're literally just using the Becky Lynch stuff. Now, there is actually this section where is it? outfits here. That's where I actually found it originally, was in the outfits. And then once you select it, it puts it into the different parts. Now, as for, um, another way you can do that is you can also import and you can go to roster. And then from there, you can actually select Becky Lynch. Um, and then you'll just select it and import it in. Fuck, I'm yawning too damn much. Why the hell am I yawning? Oh, damn. Secondary, or the third attire is again another one of those Becky Lynch looking attires. So again, this is a preset one inspired by Becky Lynch. Of course, we added her martial arts gloves. Um, appearance wise, the biggest difference being on the hair. We took, we went from the yellow little um, hairbands to just black hairbands to give a change, and we gave her the black lipstick again on this one. But just minor changes. Um, now the reason there's three of these is actually um, some of these were inspired by previous year 2K re games. Um, this one was inspired by 2K19, and the other one was 2K. Yeah, this was on 2K20. 2K18, actually, we had, um, again, more of, like, this one here. But this one also stayed 2K19 and 2K20. Now, as for her name information, obviously, her name is Rebecca Quinn. Um, I just have to give her my normal social account name, because, again, it's my female character. Um, now, as far as, like, personal information, she is from, actually, she's actually from Glasgow, Scotland. She has a face. She's a good guy. Um... Signs are like what lies within. Stuff like Drew McIntyre, because obviously he's Scottish as well. Stuff like that. Um, 100 overall. And then I gave her a very similar um, pose to my male character. So, from here, we're going to switch over to the move set. I'm going to show you a few of those. Um, this is actually probably going to be one of my longer videos. So, let's transition over to that. I'll show you some of the moves, and we'll kind of go from there. Okay, guys, so now we're on to the move set for her. Um, we're going to kind of go to a few things here. So, because this is the female version of my character, um, we're actually going to go more in-depth. So, again, this is going to be a longer video. Probably going to be a boring one, but I'm still uploading it. Um, we're going to start off with pretty much stuff. I'm just going to let you go one by one. On literally everything, guys. Um, a lot of this is kind of like just... Doing whatevs. Um, but we'll kind of just go and play with all the different moves. Strong strikes. 
this is a big one. So this is one where it's actually really easy to counter a lot of other moves because they take a while to like load up and like draw back. This one, he she just jumps, boom, elbow right there, fast. Um, she's also very um, athletic. In 2K18 or 2K19, her ring name was actually the Super Athlete, so this kind of stuff worked for her. 2K20, I didn't give her a ring name. Disrespectful. Love that kick. Um, so she doesn't have a preset. So that's one of the reasons why I want to show like all the different moves. Um, yeah. So she does have a preset. Sorry, I just lost my friend. I thought there for a second. Holy shit! But she does have a preset. Um, all of her moves are kind of like just selected by me. Um, Okay, these are grapples. So in case like you get a hold of her or something like that, limb target. Okay, medium. Let's go here. Right to the face. Quick snap German. Belly to belly. That has to hurt. Big German suplex. Obviously you gotta go with the scorpion death drop. And then that backdrop suplex. Dirty deeds. As you guys can see, she's got a lot of moves here. Um, ground limb target um strong strike standing up okay this one is a really big one i use for both her and my male character um the disrespect so like this um Submissions. I I just love this kick in the head, jump on top, and they just start fucking punching her on the side of the face. That shit is just so fucking disrespectful, and that's gotta hurt. Obviously, then you got Hell's Gate, you got Sleeper Hold, and another bro mission. Let's see, apron is not really interesting. I'll just kind of highlight it. I wish there was ways I could make these more interesting, honestly. I'm coming to the end of my time doing these. So, not many more are going to be being posted. I, I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Obviously, special moves. We're going to skip. We're going to go to the tag team. Um, we got the corner. We got our dual attack. Now, always the weight detection. I'm not going to go through that. A lot of that's the exact same moves as before. Um, taunts. We're just going to highlight them. Let you guys see them. Now, of course, the biggest part of this, the special moves. Si these are very specific for her. Um, so this is based off of when she was a super athlete. Um, so doing a barrage of super kicks, I thought was the perfect one. 
So, I liked that. And of course, because she's from Glasgow, Scotland, who else from Glasgow, Scotland? That's right, Drew McIntyre. What's Drew McIntyre got? Glasgow Kiss, well so does Rebecca Quinn. Um, outside, I changed it up. I gave her the um, Lacey Evans finisher, the women's right, um, the standing and the ground variation of it. Big fucking right hand. As for finisher, I did want to go with the Claymore because in this game, the Cl in 2K20, the Claymore wasn't interesting enough for me. Um, plus, you can only do it from the corner. You couldn't just run in Claymore, which I think is stupid. So I went with something very similar to it, which is a flying knee. So I'm not fully stealing from Drew McIntyre, you know, but still getting that same premise, that flying knee. And then shooting star press because those things are fucking awesome. Outside, same thing. And then we have a standing shooting star for her other finisher. OMGs. Well, obviously, you know, we gotta we gotta do some fancy shit. She's a super athlete, she's very bouncing, like she's jumping around in there, very energetic, and just go. Um, obviously start saying with the street star press. Butterfly DDT. I don't have a catching finisher or double finisher on her because she isn't really the biggest for that kind of stuff. I give her the Ali comeback, more energetic type of stuff. Lots of fast paced movement, which is something that she's known for. So, now I'm going to go ahead and transfer over to the um, entrance. I've already made a couple hints of like who this is going to be based off of, but let's transfer to that and I will uh, show you guys that now. And here it is, guys. As you guys probably figured out a little bit of it. We got some Drew McIntyre inspiration. Um, so I took a few aspects from different characters. Obviously the biggest one being the music and the motion is Drew McIntyre. Um, both of them being from Glasgow, Scotland. And it's just, I use the, actually the older Drew McIntyre motion. So I didn't like the one that 2K20 comes with. This is the one from 2K18, 2K19. So I do like this motion of Drew McIntyre. Um, and then, of course, some of the background stuff is a little bit of a mix of Drew McIntyre and Tommaso Ciampa. Um, having that broken glass and like the colorations just works so fucking well. Um, but I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. Um, we go live on this channel multiple times a week, sometimes every other week, stuff like that. I'm not sure yet. I, haven't, I don't really have a schedule, but... I'll see you guys around for the next video. I appreciate you guys checking it out. Um, next one we got uploading is going to be the longest one of the entire 2K Creator Wrestler series because it's finally time to upload my WWE 2K Wrestler. That's right, guys. The f next one after this, I've uploaded the fem my female character. My next upload for the 2K Creator Wrestler series is finally my main character. And it's going to be a long one. But I'll see you guys around for that.